up to the seventh round. And there was almost a look of shock on Tony Suero's face when he jumped on Carmen Graziano. An appropriate decision by Larry Hazard because Torres was literally out on his feet. Whoa, what a shocking turn of events. And the home fans go wild here in Atlantic City. Nestor Flores sitting down. And here you see. He looks for some divine inspiration yes. on this one. Tony Suero, tough Tony, blasted out. Here is where Tony Suero hurt Flores. Hit him with the right. That left hook is the one that stunned Flores. And the mouthpiece of Flores will go flying with that right hand. At this point, oh, after wow. that left is where Flores was literally out on his feet. And Larry Hazard, Larry Hazard, you know, people can talk about fights being stopped too soon. This is something that Larry Hazard understands very well. When a fighter is hurt and uh, he moves in appropriately, a different angle of that same action. And uh, Larry Hazard stepping in. And uh, after Swero had been hurt just around it too previously, came back to dismantle Flores. And the fans love it. Tough Tony Swero. <laughs> he has turned things around for himself. That is a big, big win for Tony Suero as he stops Nestor Flores in the seventh round. And the thing that is so impressive about that is as soon as he had his man hurt, he never let him off the hook. He was in there for the finishing touches and did it. Nestor Flores is okay. Certainly uh, a bit in shock when the fight was stopped, but it's a big win for... Tony Swero, let's get the official time for Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, at 2.01 of the seventh round, referee Larry Hazard stops this contest. The winner, by technical knockout, the prize, South Philadelphia, Tough Tony Swero. And the show of sportsmanship by Tony Swero, Nestor Flores. A disappointed young man. He's still got a lot of work to do. Obviously, he's got more learning to do. But tough Tony Suero, who has always been a great competitor, a game fighter, a man who was very busy early in his career. Last couple of years, it's sloughed off. He has come on strong with a big win over Nestor Flores. We'll talk with him in just a moment. Next week, we come to you from Las Vegas. Thursday, July 12th at 9 o'clock Eastern, 6 Pacific, live from the Showboat Hotel in Las Vegas. Luis Santana will go against Felipe Canela, welterweight bout, and then Cubanito Perez uh, goes against Frankie Davis, fine junior welterweight bout. You'll see it live Thursday night, July 12th, right here on your Total Sports Network with Sam Smith and Al Bernstein on Top Rank Boxing. The gentleman in the ring here is called Tough Tony Suero, and there's a reason for that. You were hurt by Nestor Flores. It appeared in any case to us, and uh, I think that uh, a lot of us at ringside thought that perhaps you were hurt to the point where he might have been ready to take you out, and uh, you came back well. Hurt? What's that mean? <laughs> well, I guess he doesn't. I guess you weren't hurt during that fight. I was never hurt days. I've been days before. Okay. I can feel he was a thud puncher. He was a thud puncher. He wasn't like kind of like. The kind that hurt you, like, daze you. Mm -hmm. I could feel like, you know, the kind like, not daze you, like the kind like, feel like you pinch, you know, or hurt. Oh, yeah. not, not a kind like a, a you know, buzz, you know, a, a drunk. Not All right, Tony, we will take a look at when you hurt Nestor Flores, and I don't think there's much doubt as to the fact that you hurt him. This is early in the round when you knocked him out. Right here, left hook. The left hook was what really hurt him. He was a strong kid, good puncher, a very, it's a pleasure fighting somebody of his caliber. Here's where you knock his mouthpiece out. Oh, I did do that. Oh, I did that. <laughs> you certainly did. Larry Hazard stepped in, and did you feel it was the appropriate uh, point for Larry Hazard to step in? Appropriate for me, yeah, because I feel like <laughs> I feel like either he would have got hurt or some would have. It happened to him bad, I believe, because it was a minute left in the fight, right? It was 202. Right. And I was not tired. I've been training for five weeks, living with Mr. Graziano here which is worse than the Broad Meadows, which is a prison. <laughs> okay, getting in with Nestor Flores was nothing compared to living with Carmen. Is that what you suggest? No way. Okay. I'd rather go to prison. In, the, <laughs> in this fight, there were a couple things that you did, obviously, very well. One of what, which was you used your left jab extremely well, and well, you set things up with that punch. I worked on that because I, I seen the table last fight, which you commentated, which I believe I won, 
But when I seen the tapes, I, I appreciate your opinion of the fight because you were right, but you put me down. Oh, <laughs> that's but too bad. That made me train time. harder and uh, more dedicated and live with Skinny Minnie over here. I felt good, you know. Okay, speaking of Skinny Minnie, Carmen Graziano is who he's talking about. Carmen, and what my, about his... And my other trainer that I worked, two trainers. This okay. guy, John, uh, Joe, Joe Mary, M-A-R-I, took yeah. care of me. Okay. Good, and Jimmy Watson for the first two weeks. All right, Jimmy, both also good trainers. What about uh, Tony's performance tonight? Uh, how would you rate him? Obviously, he came back well. Was there anything uh, that you saw that he did really extremely well? Yes, he was boxing well. He had the control of the fight. He was watching punches that were coming at him. Tony's, Tony's probably one of the best athletes in the country. And if Tony trains like he trained for this fight, and if he gets a little momentum going, he's going to be the toughest guy in the division. There's no question about it. He's got an iron jaw. He, which proves it. That's what I was scared about with Perry, you know? Because that's why I didn't throw no punches. I was scared of getting tired. But I was in pretty good shape, and I came right back from training. I didn't do that. I was supposed to fight... Gonzalez, which I was in good shape. I hurt my hand. Then I came right back to the gym. Okay, uh, Tony, thank you very much. Congratulations to you. Let's go back to Sam Rosen. Thank, thank you, you, Al, and congratulations to tough Tony Suero from Vineland, New Jersey, as he stops Nestor Flores in the seventh round. Back with more top-ranked boxing in a moment.